Hey everyone, Tech Comment here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone overheating after the iOS 18 update. So let's get started. So it is normal for the iPhone to overheat, especially after a major update, but you need to follow these steps to quickly fix it. So let's get started. So generally, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and swipe up or double tap on your home button and close out all the running apps. So in the past, if you have tons of apps, it just helps to close first of all all of them out and that way when you reopen it next time it will launch again new now after you have done that the next thing you want to go ahead and do is ensure that the apps are up to date because when you update the ios the software of the phone there's also an update for all the apps that you have running and in order to find those updates and to update them you simply go to the app store click on your profile up here and it's going to give you an idea how many apps need to be updated now you can manually click on each one to update or simply click on update all and it will begin updating all of the apps and generally it just take a few minutes but you should see them all starting to download and install the latest version to be compatible with iOS 18 and the reason why that is if it's running an older version it's likely to be not as functional and have some issues which the new update will go ahead and fix it so go ahead and update your phone now, once you have updated your iPhone, all of the apps, the next thing you want to follow is this step here. So first thing is you're going to want to go ahead, quickly press and release the volume up, and then quickly press and release the volume down, and hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. Now, before you do that, make sure that all the apps have been updated. I'm just going to show you how that's done. So it's going to be quickly press and release the volume up, volume down, and then I hold on to the side button just like that. And now it's going to slide to power off, but you do not want to touch any part of the screen. Just keep simply keep holding on to that side button until the screen goes completely black. And we're going to wait for the Apple logo to appear before we let go of that side button. Again, all I did was quickly press and release the volume up, volume down one after another before holding on to the side button. And you, when you do this process, make sure it's, you do the volume up and down quick without touching any part of the screen. And sometimes it takes a few tries to get the hang of it. So if it doesn't work the first time, keep on trying it. This method is safe, will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will be on your phone. Now after you have done that and you're still seeing issue with overheating, the next thing you want to do is go into your settings and then go to the option here where you're going to see. Let's go ahead and show you what you want to do is go under the battery and then you want to turn off low power mode. Well, you do that make sure your phone is charged over 20 percent if it's not try to be between 20 to 80 percent generally when a major update happens it's good to recharge the phone again because it does take a quite a bit of battery and that's why you might feel the battery feels like hot on your phone and that's normal as well so after you have done that the next thing to do is under the settings go to security and privacy click on location if you have location setting turned on simply turn that off and then go back to your location services and turn it back on. It does a quick net a refresh of the location settings, which can cause the phone to overheat. Now, the next thing you want to do in your settings here is go into general, go to iPhone storage, and make sure you have enough storage to support your phone on the latest iOS 18 update. I usually say more than five gigs free available, if not more. Here I have 99 gigs available. And if you're down to a few gigs, delete some longer format videos, messages, apps that you don't need to free up some space and you see improvement in performance and even fixing the overheating issue. Now, after you have done that and you're finding that still not fixing the overheating issue, the next thing you want to do in your settings, go to uh, general here and then go all the way down where it says transfer reset iPhone, click on reset. And you're going to want to do a reset all settings. So reset all settings just resets the settings, not any of your data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will be on your phone. You don't have to worry about that. It will reset things like your network related settings, any save Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, you have to reconnect again, any uh, keyboard dictionary you have, any custom home screen layout, any handwriting style, and any location and privacy settings. It's necessary to do that to fix the overheating issue in case there is a setting that's affecting it. And after you have done that, which should take about 30 seconds to a minute, the next thing and the final thing you can do is kind of wait for the next major update. Now it does sound a little bit funny if it's because this version is on the first version. So 
we want to go ahead and update to the next version by going to your settings general software update and check if there's an update go ahead and click on update now if there is an update and hopefully after you do that your iphone is a fix and the overheating issue does go away if so please consider a like and subscribe button also share with us if you did something else to fix that overheating issue but keep in mind it is normal for the fresh a few days for the phone to feel like it's overheating especially on ios 18 that's just the way what happens when it comes to major software updates on iphones that we have seen in the past as well and i hope this video is helpful if so please continue to like and subscribe button we'll see you guys next time